Coronavirus vaccine booster shots are coming. The government is expected to recommend them eight months after you were fully vaccinated. So if you got the vaccine early on, that time is approaching. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson looked into when they could be available. Scott? Well, you could see lines here at places like the local health department. Once the FDA gives final approval to these vaccines, they do expect them to start to be widely disseminated again as booster shots eight months later. The virus similar to the flu. I talked to Maureen Moore. She's a retired nurse who this past December was working as a contact tracer for the Department of Health. That's when she got her first vaccine. When we started back in December, um, we didn't really know how long the vaccine would last. Uh, whether or not boosters would be needed, like the annual flu shots. Um, so I started my journey in December when the Department of Health offered them to the staff. Moore says her eight months from full immunization will be up in late September. I have thought for a while that a booster was probably going to be necessary. I know there's been a lot on the news about it, and I'm ready. When they say, go get it, I'm going to go get it. I've reached out to local and state agencies about how they're preparing for this in case there's a big demand. This from the local health department. We have a good amount of vaccine and will follow FDA EUA guidelines. There is also plenty of vaccine available in the community from other sources, such as health care providers and pharmacy providers. And the city tells me it's waiting on guidance from the state. As we have done throughout the last year and a half, we stand ready to support the state in their efforts. Dr. Mohamed Reza is a local infectious disease specialist who says a lot of this data is coming from Israel, which started boosters to some patients five months ago. As time goes on, the, the protection from these vaccines, such as Moderna, Pfizer, and possibly even Johnson Johnson, may wane over time. That's what we're seeing from the Israeli data. But there is some pushback from patients not looking for another shot. Like this commenter, I'm not taking no more shots. And as far as the vaccines we're talking about, it's Moderna, it's Pfizer, as the doctor said, the ones that they're thinking might have that eight-month window. As far as Johnson & Johnson, which got its emergency use authorization later in February, that's still unclear. They're determining how long you need to wait before a booster for J&J. &J. We're live in Springfield. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.